Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I first of all would like to start off by wishing everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and thank you for following along with me this past year. What I bought today to the table is a design team project for Lavender Blue. The kit that I chose for um, this design team project was the Whistler kit. Um, up until then I knew nothing about this gentleman but I've learnt so much since. The It's a little soft cover journal. It measures five and three quarters by eight and a quarter and it's only got a little in, uh, one inch spine with approximately 90 pages and it's two signatured. Now on the front cover I've used um, his photograph which is James Whistler and I put on the front of it just travel and then on each corner front and back I've put little um, metal corners and I've made a faux leather cover for it and there's a little spine and I've just left it plain at the back now going on to the inside of this one here's another picture from the kit and up the top here this is a July 11th 1834 was when Mr Whistler was born so it's a really interesting kit to work with I love the dark grungy colors and on this one we have the one of the pages from the kit called the doorway I've taken one of the pages from the kit and just sort of tore it into a pocket and it's another um, drawing from the kit and then you just got pages at the back each page I've stenciled in a like a grey hickory smoke colour with uh, just writing which is unreadable but as most artists do write with unreadable writing I thought it was fitting and I've made a little journal card here and I've also attached in here on how to use a junk journal and a Tim Holtz little paper doll and you can write on the back now this one I've made from um, a French ephemera that I had in my stash and it's on the back as well and it's thick enough to use as a board to put under your pages to write and that just sits in the front and then we just got a lot of coffee dyed paper with the stencil and also a stamp to replica stains whether it be from a painting pot coffee pot now on this one with this kit you actually get um, a page of ephemera which is it, it's a really good kit and I've made a little pocket here and I've got a saying that says when the character of a man is not clear to you you look at his friends and some little labels from the kit and another piece of ephemera from the kit as well and they all just sit in there I've made another little tag and you can write on the back and these are out of a, like a project life card that can be written on Now I've done a little corner pocket and a little envelope which you just flip up and can be written on. And then this flips up once you take out that little tag, little journal spot and you can write on the back. And then more journaling cards on there as well. 
you not only got this little front pocket but you have a rear pocket as well to put everything in and I've just added a little um, a vintage file folder that sits in behind there that can be written on or, or drawn on some more pages from the kit now with this one um, I've done it so that you can undo it and you could put notes in there drawings in there that you don't want anyone to see and then I've just added little journaling cards in there as well and they just slip in there another page from the kit and here I've created a belly band with a journaling card through it and this is the middle of the first signature which is pages from the kit and this one's reading by lamplight and the little mask I've made a belly band on this page and more and there's heaps of writing whether the person would like to write to draw you know totally up to them and I've made a little pocket with part of the ephemera from the kit <coughs> excuse me now I've handwritten a little saying art for art's sake that is a little quote from Mr Whistler and a couple of journaling cards at the back and also to the side and here we have another page from the kit and this one I've done a little pocket I'll take it all out so that is a piece of ephemera from the kit and it can be written on the back a little uh, vintage journal map and that slides in behind that one and I've got a little envelope that has a couple of piece, little pieces of ephemera in it and it can be written on the back and that could have been you know I like to think that it's from his mistress that Mr. Whistler, Mr. Whistler did have he had a little uh, he was married and also had a little mistress and more journaling cards that just slip up into there and another piece of ephemera and this is a um, renowned painting from Mr Whistler called Whistler's Mother I've made another little pocket with a postcard and a couple more journal cards in there as well this one here I've actually used a um, panola paper folded in half and grunged it up a bit and stamped on it and then I've got a little journal card in there as well now this is a painting that Mr Whistler is renowned for Whistler's mother and that is from the kit more plain pages and that's the end of the first signature which is your page from the kit called the kitchen now this one is the start of the second and there is enough room here if you want to add an, either another signature or a traveler's notebook idea we've got another pocket here from some French ephemera and this is another page uh, piece of ephemera from the kit And then you have your more plain paper another page from the kit another pocket with some journaling cards in there and this is the same as the first one where I put a couple of big pieces of journaling card in and this can be the undone to house drawings or memorabilia but heaps of places to write in this one another page from the kit and a couple of little pockets here with little faux cabinet cards that I've made
plenty of places to write, draw, create. And here's some more pages from the kit. Another little pocket with two more pieces of ephemera from the kit. A belly band with a piece of French ephemera with a couple of big journaling cards in there as well. And this one is an, a newspaper print that I've just made into a pocket with a journal card there as well. And the same on the other side there. This has been a really interesting kit for me. As I said previous, I didn't know much about this artist and what you read about him, it is very interesting. And here's some more journal cards. And then I've done a little um, page, a little pocket and another piece of ephemera from the kit and more places to write. This one is a envelope and what I've done I've left it plain so you can write on it, draw on it, decorate it to how you would like it and inside I've got two little notes and some ephemera and this one actually flips down and you've got the same on the other side. And on the last page, I've actually made a tag and um, glued it to the page. So you've got a little pocket at the front with a piece of journaling card. And then when you lift that up, you can, you've got teaching is half learning and I'm out of shot there. So you've got teaching is half learning and you can write on the page and on the side here the little side tuck and I've got a little index card and places to journal. And this is the back last page of the signature and your back page. Now Mr Whistler died in July 7, 17 in 1903. So I do hope you like that. Um, please enjoy looking through that. And once again, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. Goodbye.